I'm here to review the Blue Fire OTG Endoscope. Why are you holding and, up that water bottle? Well, okay, so I'm holding up the water bottle because the water cooler's busted, and I just called the support, and they told me to look inside the pipe and see if there's a, a mineral blockage. And I thought, I can't look inside the pipe. Oh, wait a second. Yes, I can. I have an endoscope. <laughs> Originally got this thing thinking, oh, that'd be funny. I'll get an endoscope and perform a colonoscopy on someone while they're sleeping as a prank. I figured it'd be neat to have it. Now I'm actually finding a practical use for it. So it works with Android devices that support OTG. I got a Note 4 here. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously I don't use this phone very much. I mean, I'm just really popular. Alright, well it's pretty long. It's longer than me, so it's about six six, seven feet. This thing is a full arm height over me. One thing to note on this thing, it's not very stiff. So you're not gonna be able to like snake it up a wall or something like that because it's just gonna bend. I don't know, it's like a phone charger. It's very flimsy. More Texas is coming in there. Wait for that to stop. Gotta get the app. It says open Google Play and inquiry for USB camera. Download camera five. Let's wait for that to install. What they told me to do on the phone was to unscrew these spigots. Okay, it's dripping a little bit. It was totally clogged up for about an hour, and I was screwing with it, trying to get it open, so maybe I jammed something loose. My spigot is constipated, so let's unclog it. Open. So the light's on. I'm just checking the settings out right now so I can see uh, if there's a reason why nothing is showing up. Let's just try and plug it, plug it back in. So if it doesn't work for you, just try plugging it in and unplugging it again. That worked for me. Can you see yourself? I do. Camera lady, hello. I'm upside down, but that's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, so I think there's a setting for that. Press that button and it flips it. Oh, okay, there you go. Well, that's I enough. think, did it flip? Yep. Um, All right, let's operate. Is it waterproof? waterproof? Yes, it is waterproof. Okay, good to know. Okay, hey, let's see what we got in here. Okay, so that's neat. Mm -hmm. So this is why it's bendy because yeah, for this purpose we would have to go in things like this. Ew! Oh, We're looking at water inside of the pipe. Water. You can see like uh, little floaties. You can adjust the uh, brightness of the LED with this knob. All that oh, yeah, stuff swirling so. around is just like some kind of weird. Probably sediments or something floating around so in the water. So what we've been drinking every time. So we should probably, <laughs> get, water should probably clean it out. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so I thought that we should also, well, actually my wife thought that we should go in through the top and it looks like it's all frozen and that is what was causing it. You can see those ice crystals there. Problem there we go. solved. Problem solved. Just have to put some hot water down there and, and definitely wash it. I was able to uh, <laughs> diagnose that there's some shit in my cooler thanks to the blue fire endoscope so what, what are you thinking oh no god <laughs> <laughs> so what what are you thinking then for this one Ooh, cool. <laughs> i don't know if you, if you need an endoscope to to look inside of your walls or to look inside of uh your drains or your water coolers then i it works well it was super easy was really to set easy. up yeah, yeah that's a wrap